Hello, my friends, and welcome to this episode of the Yoga Hacks podcast, where we talk about bringing yoga off the mat and into your daily life so you can live your best life. And I'm really excited for today's episode because I have with me Nirmal Yogi. He is an organic chemist of a very advanced level. He has a huge background in botanical supplements and particularly in Ayurveda. So Many of you may not be as familiar with Ayurveda as you are with yoga, but Ayurveda is actually the sister, the Indian medicine system that goes alongside with yoga. And it's something I love learning more about. And so I'm so excited to have a true Ayurvedic expert and chemist on the podcast with me today. So hi, Nirmal. How are you? Oh, very good. Thank you for inviting me here. Oh, you're so welcome. So... You have this incredible background in both chemistry and Ayurveda, and you have your own product line, which we're going to talk about a little later on. But I'd love for you to sort of just define Ayurveda for people who are listening on the show who maybe just aren't familiar with it. Like, what is Ayurveda? How does it connect with yoga? Can you just sort of give us your definition? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Ayurveda is one of the ancient uh, medicine system in the world. And uh, basically, Ayurveda is a way of life. It incorporates uh, various things, what we do, think, behave, act, everything. So basically, it's a synergy of your mind, body, and soul. And uh, love that. <laughs> <laughs> so yoga, which is very popular in the West, is uh, one of the aspects of Ayurveda. That how do you uh, train your mind and body? And uh, again, Ayurveda is also about the food that we eat and is mostly based on the plant-based medicines. Now, the Western science has proved that uh, plants have the most potent phytonutrients or phytochemicals that are very helpful in dealing with stress. They are a powerful antioxidant and even uh, in many cases, they help even with the cancer. And the research has shown that. So I believe Ayurveda is a a wonderful way to adapt in your life uh, for longevity and rejuvenation. Amazing. So I'd love to get your ideas on, I think for for people who want to do yoga, you know, it's very clear, right? It's like, come to your yoga mat every morning. That's what I'm preaching, right? Do yoga, do yoga. But what do people do if they want to do Ayurveda? Like, what are the first steps someone needs to take? And does it involve having to figure out your dosha? Or are there other simple steps you can do to get started? I'd love to hear you just tell us a little bit about kind of how I how someone begins what's the first step uh, beautiful you know as uh, Ayurveda suggests that every human body we are uh, ruled by three uh, distinct doshas which is vata pita and kapha and when all these three doshas are working in harmony we are experiencing the radiant health but oftentimes due to the weather, due to the food we eat, or due to the mental stress, number of various reasons that could affect and uh, we will have imbalance in these doshas. So, ultimately, Ayurveda suggests that by adapting uh, your food system, uh, even perhaps doing yoga or simple walking or doing pranayama, which is just going in your backyard, and inhaling the fresh breath can help balance these uh, three doshas, and that's what is called tri-dosha healing. So our goal is to create a harmony and balance between these three doshas to this experience. Is perfect. I, I want to define the doshas really quick for folks who might not know them. So I'm going to define them how I have defined them, and then I want you to correct me and tell me if sure. I'm if my correction if my definition is great or if it needs some revision, or anything you'd like to add on. So guys, the three doshas, pitta is fire, right? Is that true? Like the fiery element. And vata is air. Air. Okay, so far I'm I'm doing good. And then kapha is the earth element, right? 
that. Right, that's what that means. Perfect. So when, just so for those of you who don't know, when your mom's talking about the doshas, he's talking about these three elements and that the science of Ayurveda kind of takes into account that we're all made of earth, water, and fire, right? It's, um, you know, we're, we're all governed by these, these elements. Those but, elements. But, but very often for folks, an element might be out of balance. And this is where, Nirmal, maybe you can give us an example. But Because I, I think it's really helpful for people to visualize. Like I think of someone who is very um, a very pitta-type person. Maybe they have a pitta dominance, right? Like they're very ambitious and they're very um, – they have a hard time relaxing, right? Is that like kind of the correct stereotype? <laughs> well, it is right, you know. And nowadays, most people tend to be more on a pita and kapha side. It is just the nature of the toxins and the lifestyle that we have in this uh, advanced civilization that we are constantly uh, exposed to EMF and uh, toxins that's coming from every direction. Right. And then someone who's very pita, or sorry, someone who's very vata, I think of some, like, someone who's very, like, they have a hard time focusing. They're very, like, in their, in their head. They're up, you know, they're, they're more, they're kind of a daydreamer, maybe, or they're a little scattered. Um, right. Yeah. So, so is there any, <laughs> so, so, so guys, just so you're listening, like, as you think about these things, you can, you know, there's a test. So there's a test that people can take to figure out what dasha they are. But I think this is where it gets confusing because I think a lot of folks who are into yoga, like me, right, will take a test and it'll tell us, um, okay, you are pitta dominant, like you said, many people in modern days are, and um, your, your secondary dosha is kapha. But what the test that people take, what is that really telling us? That's telling us what we are or what we need to be or how we're imbalanced. You know, I think there's this disconnection for people between like the tests they end up taking and then kind of knowing what to do with that knowledge. Does that make sense? Yeah, that uh, definitely makes sense. And it's very confusing for people to know what doshas they are. And uh, most of the time, you know, uh, one or two doshas are always off balance. It is just the nature of our body that, uh, uh, and that's why, you know, uh, we have to focus on a good balanced diet and also exercise and yoga that helps us keep us into this focus and nourishes our body. And uh, that's the main reason that we created Nari Veda, that uh, our elixirs, all of our elixirs are known to do tri-dosha healing. So no matter which dosha are you off or on, it does not matter because ultimately, when every cell in your body is being nourished, they do only one thing. They grow and function at the highest efficiency. Mm, okay, this is great. And this is so interesting because I think we've talked previously and I think I'm even now finally understanding what you really mean when you say, for example, try dosha and talking about your product, which I, I want to do. Before we go there though, the traditional way, because I just want to, make it clear to people how what you're doing is so cool and revolutionary. But the traditional way, right, is that you maybe have um, a, a dominant dosha, maybe something is out of balance. Mm -hmm. And then the science of Ayurveda, right, is that you're supposed to eat mm -hmm. differently to, to balance that out. Is that kind of right? And can you talk to that a little bit more? Uh, well, yeah, that is always uh, definitely very important, what you put in your body. Our body is our temple. And the more we take care of it, the healthier we are, and we live healthier and longer life. So I would definitely, you know, encourage to our listeners that they should infuse as many fresh vegetables they can get, different kind of fruits, and also they should have healthy grains and uh, protein that whatever the source they would like to prefer at, uh, that they can get into their body. And uh, of course, drinking fresh, clean water is very important. And then nourishing with the uh, supplements, herbs, that also help to function your body at the prime efficiency. So if someone, depending on their dosha and what's going on with them, it might be better for them to take more of a certain kind of herb or eat more of a certain kind of food than someone else who has a different imbalance, correct? And that's what an Ayurvedic doctor sort of helps you figure out. Well, that's very true because the Ayurvedic doctors, they feel that what is the main organ in the body that uh, if we 
corrected, uh, then it will help balance the stri doshas. And that is basically the liver and the digestion. So the food that are liver friendly or the diet, like, uh, you know, mindful diet, which is, uh, again, you know, a blend of uh, omega-3s, whether you get it from fish or from vegetarian source, and then blending the right uh, combination uh, that can definitely help with the uh, health of your liver. And uh, it also improves your digestion. So somebody like, you know, uh, in generality, like uh, people who have more kapha, they need to tend to eat less of the cold food and something that creates uh, mucus in the body. And uh, they need to infuse more of ginger and fresh uh, curcumin and, uh, you know, cinnamon and cloves that will definitely help balance their, uh, this uh, kapha dosha. Perfect. So this is where I think we can get a little bit more into, and I'm so excited, what it is you're doing specifically with Ayurveda and your work as a chemist, because for so many of us, you know, we don't have access to an Ayurvedic doctor, <laughs> right? I mean, I would love to hijack this podcast and just tell you all about my body and get your advice on the dietary changes I should make. But, um, you know, most of us, we just don't have access to this information. But it sounds like what your product, and for those of you listening, we're going to give you um, a lot of info on it, but it's Nari, it's called Nari Veda, and they are elixirs. So they are, it sounds like to me, a little special in two ways, right? They're special because they're liquid, and I'd love for you to tell us more about how you develop them and why having this, the supplement in the liquid form is so important because I think there's some interesting um, pieces to go into. But then second, that they have this tridosha effect so that really everyone can benefit from taking them regardless of their dosha. So let's talk about those two things and just dive in because I'm really excited to hear you talk about this. Uh, yes. Uh, we started nariveda.com and created this elixir with one focus in the mind that, uh, that again, you know, people are confused with uh, what dosha imbalance I have and uh, taking what foods and what kind of lifestyle. So uh, in Ayurveda, there's a special branch called Rasayana Ayurveda, which is the core uh, of the healing aspect of Ayurveda. And Rasayana Ayurveda is based on plants, extracts, and uh, metals. And in those old days, 5,000 years ago, the kings and maharajas were only have access to this Rasayana Ayurveda. And uh, they will have their uh, master Ayurvedic doctor or a team of doctors. And their only goal every day morning was to make this Rasayana elixir for the king the king can become strong and can bear more babies and can fight big battles. So that was how Rasayana Ayurveda uh, was uh, basically the started or has the essence or the roots in uh, Ayurveda. So, and lately, the Western science have uh, found that this Rasayana Ayurvedic herbs like Ashwagandha, Satavari, Shilajit, Kugul, and Curcumin, and few others, they have very strong antioxidant effect, and uh, they are very beneficial to live a wonderful, healthy life if you infuse them in your diet. So we decided to make these elixirs in liquid forms for two reasons, that uh, nobody in the market is giving a blend that your body needs. And uh, second thing, being in the liquid, we have extremely high bioavailability and uh, we have created our own nari syrup ad advanced uh, absorption system that delivers all these nutrients into your cell they cross your blood brain barrier and eye blood barrier due to their very small particle size mm -hmm. which again um, we have uh, maintained through our cold vortex homogenizing blending process we do not heat anything, and we keep all the potency and purity intact. Fascinating. And this is a concept that I feel I'm learning more and more about. I recently went to the Natural Products Expo. I think we, we 
I had mentioned that to you as well. And something I learned when I was there was so much about how there are all these supplements, but if they are not designed in a way that your body can actually absorb <laughs> the, the benefits, right? It's just, it's just a waste. It's just going it's through your system. Like and you're wasting your dollars. Yeah, you're wasting your dollars, exactly. So it sounds like by having it be in a liquid form, you guys could really make it, it almost just sounds like teeny tiny enough that it can really be properly absorbed by the human body, by the system. Is that right? Exactly. Like, uh, you know, the best example is the curcumin, which is a lot of people call turmeric. It's a yellow curry powder. You can get it in any Indian store, and now there's many health food stores have it. And even you can get the fresh turmeric roots. They, they look like ginger. Uh, but, you know, a lot of Western people, they just don't know how to put it in a daily diet. And uh, curcumin is very hard to digest. The bioavailability is extremely low of this regular curcumin powder that you buy in the stores. And many of these uh, companies are selling in capsule forms, you know. Uh, the curcumin that we have used or we are using it is called curcumin C3 complex, which is the uh, largest uh, uh, ingredient uh, that scientific studies have done on this particular ingredient, curcumin C3 complex. Over 7,000 studies has been done uh, and it has been proven to be powerful antioxidant, lipid peroxidation inhibition of that and even a precancerous. So we use curcumin C3 complex and the bioavailability is extremely high than regular curcumin. It's amazing because I took my turmeric capsule pill this morning, but now I'm wondering, is it really <laughs> being absorbed or is it just all for nothing? But luckily I have your product as well, so I'm going to take it later today. So that's a great segue because so you've made these elixirs and now I really want you to tell me more because you have a couple different brands, or not brands, but kind of subcategories within this general elixir. And I love the story you told about the king, because I think it's really fun to think of, you know, you getting, you know, the best possible plant nutrients as if you were like a king or queen, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but you have a couple different mixtures. So you have uh, Prana Veda, Perio Veda, Flex Veda, Veda Cardio Veda, I or Glow Radiance, and mm -hmm. one that's specifically for the brain. So can you tell us, I mean, keeping it brief, just, just like a little bit about each one and what kind of person might be interested in one over the other or which one someone might start with? Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're all so exciting to me. So I'm just, I'd love you to kind of just break it down for our listeners, the different blends you have. Yeah, uh, we have created the six elixirs for the different parts of the body. And uh, we, our protocol, or we suggest that uh, anybody who wants to achieve the best health, they should start with Iron Glow Radiance. Uh, Iron Glow Radiance is a very powerful, very effective, clinically proven to do a very safe and gentle detoxification of phase one and phase two. And also it uh, nourishes your every cells in your body with uh, antioxidant phytonutrients of Rasa and Ayurveda, so you are not running dry. Many of these detoxification formulas or remedies or methods available on the market today, some of them are outright dangerous. They really detox you fully so much that you cannot function and your cells are totally dry. Your intestinal flora is off balance from the animas or whatever they have given and basically they cannot do the heavy metal detoxification because they do not have the ability to bond with the heavy metals and safely remove out of the body. So, you know, Ayurveda Radiance, we have created a combination of Rasayana Ayurveda and also Western nutrients like calcium, the glucarate, alpha lipoic acid, and uh, glutathione, and uh, also extract from the uh, artichokes. So these oh, are all artichokes. together in uh, harmony. They not only detoxify your liver and kidneys and gallbladder, but in return, they go to every cell because our particle size of our elixirs are smaller than the cells. So they replenish the nutrients in your cells. So you're feeling energetic, you're feeling lighter, and you're 
some people experience the weight loss because a lot of dark fields are removed out. And it's all in a very gentle way it happens. And then ultimately, your skin is glowing because it's functioning well all your cells. So for those of you who are listening, that one is called Ayur Glow Radiance. So it's A-Y-U-R, like the beginning of Ayurveda, and then Glow, G-L-O-W, Radiance. So I just wanted to make sure people understood which one we were talking about. And that sounds like a great just sort of first one to try. So tell us now about the other ones because right. it's like I feel like someone would come to your site and you just like want all of them. Well, so. truly, you know, these are all can be taken uh, very safely together or, you know, at a different time of the day. They work in a harmony and right. they do only one thing. They nourish every cell of your body. So why would someone maybe choose next like to do Cogniveda as opposed to Flexveda? Or can right. we just give people some guidelines about, you know, they have the, they have the, the primary one, the eye or glow radiance. What, what are the next ones that someone might want to consider pending what's going on in their life with, with certain health issues or whatnot? Right. Uh, once you try your eye or glow radiance, then at least your body is fully functional or your cells are doing beautiful. And then hoping you're eating the balanced diet and uh, uh, all the fruits, vegetables, and everything. But oftentimes, due to a busy lifestyle, we cannot maintain the balanced diet, and our body is uh, missing the nutrients. So we created these different uh, specific elixirs, like Pranaveda. Pranaveda is the world's first uh, elixir to infuse vegetarian omega-3 with few other uh, ingredients that is known to nourish your cells and increase your immune system in your body. So it basically sharpens your uh, power, your inner prana. So your, uh, when your immune system is strong, uh, very few diseases can touch you and you can enjoy your life. And also Pranaveda is very good for toning your body and burning the fat cells in the body. It goes deep in the tissue, take the fat cells into the mitochondria and create energy. So you're feeling a lot of good energy when you take prana veda. If you're doing yoga, someday morning, you don't feel like going to yoga or you're not ready for the session because your body is not uh, energetic. So if you take a one ounce or three teaspoon of prana veda and see how beautiful yoga class you will have. Mm. Perfect. And then let's talk about one more because then I have a bunch more questions. Maybe let's talk about Cogniveda because I remember... Um, I remember I talked to your son as well, and he said that that one really can help you achieve sustained focus. And I know that's something for a lot of us, right? Like we're at the computer, <laughs> we're at work, right? We're so distracted, it's so hard. So uh, can you tell us about that one a little bit? Uh, yes. Uh, Cogni Veda is, uh, you know, like uh, the lot of effects of uh, malnourishment or not eating right or more exposure to different toxins, even our brain gets uh, foggy. And brain takes 20% energy of your body. A lot of people didn't know that. So when you do not have enough energy in your body, no wonder you're feeling lethargic, a little bit off balance, not thinking right, and then you tend to eat more junk food and more coffee to fill the uh, energy or the high. And of course, you know, for a while it will take you to the next level of the brain, but then it brings you down very fast as well. So we created this Cogniveda to lift the brain fog, to energize the brain with vegetarian omega-3 and carnitine and patented ingredients that are known to increase your IQ power, to bring more focus, and also nourishes every brain cells. So our ingredients are known to cross the blood-brain barrier. A lot of pills and capsules, they cannot do that. So when you take Cogniveda, in 15 minutes to half hour, you will feel the difference. You will have more awareness, you will be more creative, you will have more energy, and you are ready to go. I know, I told your son I need to take them before I do <laughs> podcasts or go on camera. Lots of Cogniveda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is good for students, it is good for writers, it is good for anybody who wants to really focus on the college, on the life, on the mm. issues they have. And also it releases the stress of, of, your, of your life. It's a wonderful stress releaser. So that's why your brain is functioning at the highest efficiency. 
Amazing. Okay, so I feel like whenever we want to incorporate something like this into our life, there's sort of three steps. It's like we need to find the right product, which is why I was so excited about connecting and interviewing you because, you know, there's so many supplements out there and people really don't know where to start. And, you know, there's just so much science behind everything you're doing um, and with it really being able to be absorbed. Um, correctly. So that's part of it is like finding the right product. But then the second part is really making sure you take the product. And I think this is where I really struggle with all supplements is really integrating it into my routine and knowing how to take it. So I'd love for you to tell us now what's the best way for someone to consume? Say they have their elixir and we're going to give people some really exciting ways that they can get their hands <laughs> on your product at the end of this episode. So stay tuned, everyone. But say you, you, you have it. It got uh -huh. to your doorstep. What's the best way to consume it? Can I pour it into a spoon and just take it like I'd take, um, you know, like, like the medicine you give little kids, like just right off the spoon? Or is it better to blend it with water or something else? Does it need to be refrigerated? How long's the shelf life? Can you kind of just tell us all those details, which I think are really important? <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, most of these details they can find at nariveda.com. That is N-A-R-I, V as in Victor, E, D as in dog, A.com. And you are very... Uh, there's a very important uh, aspect of our elixir is how to take it. Uh, one thing, we are 100% pure, natural, potent. We do not use anything artificial, no flavoring, not even any sugar. And we are gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, and free of uh, GMOs. So our taste, again, is very earthy and very Ayurvedic. So for example, you are trying Ayur Glow Radiance. The, what we suggest that you shake the bottle very well and then you uh, take an eight ounce uh, glass of water and then add one or two or three teaspoons. Uh, and if you like, you can add some uh, lemon juice to it and then you can drink it. And if you're bold enough and if you can handle the taste, then, you know, we can drink straight and then drink a lot of eight ounce water after that. And, and do you suggest drinking it in the morning or at night, before meals, after meals, or it doesn't matter? Uh, well, for Ayur Glow Radiance, we definitely suggest that you take it first thing in the morning. And if you need to repeat the second dose, you can do it safely around noontime. And for uh, Prana Veda, uh, basically you can take the first dose before your yoga class around 9 o'clock whenever you're ready to do any physical activity. You can in, uh, or you can take after half hour of taking Ayur Glow Radiance. Uh, and the Prana Veda is again very good if you blend with your orange juice or your smoothie. Uh, it tastes very better and you get all the nutrition that you are missing from uh, the balanced diet or, again, the powder form that you're getting it. Okay, so you can mix it or you can take it straight. It's really just personal preference. It's a personal preference, right. Perfect. And if you do not can it straight, the earth can uh, take straight, then, uh, you know, uh, any kind of juice is very good. Uh, apple juice is very good. Cranberry, organic, uh, uh, you know, all, any kind of uh, organic fresh juice that you might have. Perfect. And Cogni Veda can be taken any time you want to feel sharp. So right. there is no time limit for that. And the Perio Veda, which is our dental detoxification nutraceutical, is excellent to get you a strong, fresh breath and rejuvenate your gums and recalcification. And uh, it can be taken two, three times a day after your meal and definitely before you go to bed. You will have the freshest, cleanest breath ever you have experienced. Amazing. I think both my husband and I need that one. <laughs> um, and once I open them, do I need to keep them in the fridge or can I keep them out? Uh, well, you know, it's a personal preference. It is the, our product does not need refrigeration. They are self-stable. The shelf life is uh, one year. Uh, but if you prefer to put in the fridge, you can. Perfect. It would not alter anything. Okay, great. So <laughs> it's so funny because just hearing you talk about your passion for the product and, you know, the, the incredible results that you guys have been seeing. I know there's a lot of scientific studies you guys have done on your product and people can get more info on that on your website. I'm sure people like me are wanting to try it, curious about, you know, maybe starting with one of these. So I'm really excited to let everyone know a couple things that Nirmal has been so generous and he wants to give away five 
bottles to people in our community, which thank you so much. I'm just so excited about this. So guys, if you want to win a bottle, what I want you to do is I want you to come to our private Facebook group because you know that's where we all hang out. So that's Yoga Hacks Community, yoga, H-A-C-K-S, community.com if you're not already a member. And put in the chat that you listen to this podcast. I'm going to have a big thing at the top of the page where you guys can comment and just let me know if you're interested in a bottle and which one. So make sure to go to the Nari Veda website. Again, it's N A R I V E D dot com. Um, or V E D A dot com. Nari Veda. And let me know which bottle you're interested in, and I will be picking five winners and I will connect them with Nari Veda and Nirmal so you can get a free bottle shipped to you. And for everyone else, whether you're going to try to win one or you just want to get one or you end up not winning one and wanting one, they are offering 15% off plus free shipping on all the all the supplements, all the elixirs for our community. And so you're going to want to use the coupon code Larkin Yoga. And I will have this in the show notes as well as below the YouTube video that this is going to become and the info will be everywhere. But the coupon code is Larkin Yoga for 15% off and then head over to the Facebook group Yoga Hacks Community, yoga, H-A-C-K-S community.com to win and definitely go check out the Nari Veda website because I'd love for you to tell me I'll be picking winners based off who tells me which um, bottle they specifically want so we can give them to people who really need them and are really excited about them so your mall thank you so much for this generosity and for just sort of helping this happen and get some bottles in the hands of my community members I really really appreciate it and I just absolutely love what you're doing well, I thank you very much for inviting, and all our listeners, we wish a wonderful, radiant health. Oh, thank you so much. All right, guys, thank you so much, as always, for tuning in to the Yoga Hacks podcast. We've already talked about this, but the place we all hang out is yogahackscommunity.com. So if you're not a member of the Facebook group, you want to jump over there right away. You want to make sure you have my mobile app full of yoga classes that you can do on the go. Just search my name, Brett Larkin, in the App Store, and all these podcast episodes get syndicated to inside the app, so you can listen to them there as well. Thank you so much, Nirmal, once again, and we will talk to you and connect with you all in the next episode. Namaste. Namaste.